Come on, late summer. Day two of summer, year seven. Gosh, seven years into it? All right, we're at midsummer right now. I don't know when late summer is technically. Oh, it's harvestable. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes! <laughs> the timing was perfect. <laughs> Rolling out that dirt road like a carpet. We're here to claim it all. Ah, uh, yeah. I just, can we get that hauled back, I wonder? Yes. Yes, we can. Ah, oh, yeah! Look at us go! So much fruit! That is a lot of fruit. We're keeping that patch. I don't care, man. We have 38 stored, and we can get this, like, a lot bigger. Hold on. Eighty-seven. We have sixty-eight stored right now, and there's still a little bit here. Just hanging out. So we'll say ninety-six, maybe? Four, eight, twelve, fifteen of it, plus the sixty-eight stored. There's still quite a bit laying around. Forty laying right there. Okay, we got like a hundred and thirty fruit. Bring that up to an even hundred. Make it so. Oh, so good. And this is going to be just fruit storage. Burnt. All of it. Fetch it even. It all comes here. Eateries. I, we're not allowed to eat fruit, but maybe eateries need to also be told not even to... Not even to store it. Yeah. Look at them trying to bring fruit in. What jokes. Food variety. Ha! Once we get enough fruit, I don't know if we'll get it excess, but once we get enough, we can maybe eat some of it, I guess. And with that going, we can soon then... Crafting? Refining brewery. Kettle storage, auxiliary kettle. Oh yeah, we needed uh, clay for that, didn't we? Pottery. So there, pottery. Pottery, there is also tailoring basics. Just the first tier I need. So when we get 400, we can do fine clothing and then we can also get clothing done. So pottery from clay. We're getting clay from way down here, and also way up here. Production 1.23, just two people working it. 1.13, the pot, 20%, 32%, 20, 132, 17, 35. The deposits down here are slightly more efficient. Slightly. There's also, like, no room to expand it. There is, but not really for very much. Similar deal to you, but maybe it's a little bit better. Okay. Because mm, then I think we might just make pottery up here. Someone's going to have to do a whole lot of hauling regardless. Because we need... Pottery for the building specifically, that's whatever. Housing is generally going to be using pottery at some point, one day, someday. No, not at all. Okay, so pottery... I guess it doesn't really matter where we make pottery, to be honest. There's not, there's not a whole lot of use case for pottery. So... Because I was thinking I'd just get rid of one of these clay things. We just all together in one. Eh, whatever. 
It's it's fine. We'll leave the one up there. I will uh give you a little bit more. Square you out. 14% 69 efficiency. Well, yeah. 20% down to 14%. 16%. Nineteen percent with a little bit more and that's uh, whatever. Okay. We can leave that at the four, that's fine. And then we'll do clay making here. But that also means getting a little a little warehouse. And then there. That can be the door into the pottery building. This will house pottery and also clay. And then we can have one crate of pottery being fetched to you. Just one fetch. Keep some on hand to be convenient. Actually, yeah, fuck it. May as well just be up here. Keep a crate of pottery fetched up there because we're going to be using that for the brewery. So you don't really need to have it fetch at all, but I'll still tell you to maintain a crate. Good luck. Okay. And then refining... Crafting pottery. A couple big workbenches at the bottom. And then a couple workbenches at the top with auxiliaries sort of filling in the gap for 100% efficiency. 13 employees, 26 production, sharing the door with storage. Seems okay. There. So that's where the pottery's made clay pottery being stored when that's made otherwise we have a creative of it being hauled up here for the brewery which is actually going to be like down here somewhere so it's not so so far because we get the fruit and pottery up here and then all the way down to the tavern. Uh, so like just, I don't know, maybe across the road. It's not super convenient. <laughs> if we have a logistics issue, then we sort it later. There's that door. And then a door back there as well. So kettle, storage, auxiliary kettle for efficiency. Furniture, pottery. Furniture, pottery. Okay. And furniture, pottery. Which storage, so as small as it can be up in the corner because I generally have that handled elsewhere by other means. Ooh, look at that. That's fun. 4.8 employees, 100% efficient, 19 production. Cool. And your road. And just the door is just straight through. Easy peasy. So you can also be drinks. Probably more fruit than drinks. Probably. Fetch fruit, fetch pottery. Because that stuff's consumed along with... Did it also need, like, coal? Yeah, also coal. The same amount of pottery. So... One crate, then... Of coal. To be fetched. Auto employ, good luck to you. Hey, all right, they're doing it. It happened. We have 157 fruit still spare. Hmm. All right, 100% moisture, 100% event, such as blights or blessings, 
I guess we're getting normal output. There's no blessing, no blight. Skill, work value, fertility, 81%. Yeah, this is all looking good. This got a big overhaul, so I'm... I'm gonna have to re-go through and figure out exactly how it's working, because... While I understood the old way it was, it has since been redone, so... Maybe it's cool and awesome now. Maybe it's even... More awkward. Complicated. I don't know. I didn't think the old system was too bad. Definitely something you had to like look at and figure out. I was more confused about how seasons were working into it because it seemed like it seemed like somehow everything just lined up perfectly while having different durations. But it looks like it's just we're generally just tilling every day until harvest ticks down and progress doesn't much matter. Let's bring this down to like just the eight and see how that goes. At least for now. When we fill this out, we'll probably need more. I think I need 9 slash 10. If it's still roughly 100 square space per person. Granted, I'm not sure how the work commute works. As people arrive at different times and all that. But they're doing what they can. Like, there's, I guess the work value, as long as that gets... Oh, okay. It has a daily counter as well still. So similar concept, I guess. The better you do on the, the daily work, the better the work value overall is. And... Seems okay. Not a lot of breathing room. <laughs> So we'll bump it up to one. 18% workload, it claims. I don't know, man. I mean, if work value is 100%, if I don't do the daily tending, I'm sure the work value is going to drop. It's like a average type DLA, I would reckon. Hmm. 150 fruit I've got spare now. Very nice. What are you lacking? Oh yeah, the pottery, right. Mm, needing wood? We've got wood. We're actually finally getting through our little wood surplus. I, th I think we can get a, a lumber yard going, finally. Um, maybe get that in down here. Because that's kind of where everything else is currently. 17 workers, 78 stones, 78 furniture, 51 production. It's just this large southern lot. Still a bit of space for the road south if I want to connect up other buildings or extend. Um, still a bit of space to extend the warehouse too if I need to get more, but otherwise... A side door here with the road is otherwise perfect. I guess get the road finished up there too. And pottery is done. Auto employ, no. We'll say six people. I'm not using that many pots, I think. <sighs> I think. It didn't look like we used that many pots for drinks. As with all things, we'll see. We'll find out. I'm not sure. I'll give it a try. The usual adage. You know how it is by now, I'm sure. And then yeah, that can just directly feed in. You've got plenty... Not the dude. You got plenty of room for wood, yeah. Good bit of room for furniture as well. 510 stored, although it's mostly being stored elsewhere. Yep, yep, yep. Haven't grown the population in a little while. We're still sitting at 300. Our days of food have gone from 8 to 11. We do have an increase. I think some of that's going to be the fruit. But overall, it looks like our meat is getting up there. It would probably be worth getting that ration maker at some point soon. I wonder what the noise of the lumber mill is going to be like for these poor houses. 
kind of a bad spot to be living currently. Hmm. Their problem, not mine. Get a little more going. Sort of dead ending ourselves if we do that. Where there would otherwise be some reusable space. I'll leave it for now. I don't think we have a homeless problem at all. Just the one person, but that's the noble. Dajeranos. Mm. Eh. Mm. Army. Uh, bump it up to like... 40? Uh, train 20 at a time for reserve army of 40 people. So a little more than 10% of everyone. Whoa, happiness just took a shit. What happened? Services? Religion minus one. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see. Religion. What's... Graveyards? What, did something happen? Seems fine. We've yet to get anybody buried in it, even though, like, a dozen have died. Why are there so many people just hanging out here? <laughs> Why is this such a cool hangout spot? I guess there is, like, some temple like creator stuff going on. What if I, like, disable these and I say, No! That, does that do anything? We're not allowed to access those temples, so deal with it. Yeah, burials is zero, because nobody's ever been buried as far as I know. So I'm not sure how this could be dropping. Just graveyards minus one suddenly. Workload. 5%. Oh, 13 out of 14 available. Ah. Dantorian citizen. There we go. A grave's used. Alexios Philinus. All right. They're buried. We can honor the dead and stuff. Woodcutter is set. Bring this down to... Oh, you know what it might have been? The woodcutter finishing and hiring everybody, and maybe the person working the graveyard was uh, pulled away or something. So for a brief moment, we didn't have anybody hired. Maybe? If that's the case, then it's probably worth having two people working there so we can always have one person, like, kind of get forced into a different job and the, the sort of changeover doesn't affect us any. This was clay and pottery and and coal. No, okay. Ta da. Six people working. Minus twenty for clay consumption. Produce this year 24, estimated 66 this year, so we'll still be... Still be gaining a bit, apparently. Okay. Import depot, right, set to nothing. Good, because I didn't actually end up needing the fruits. Which is just about ready to harvest. Hey, hey! Good timing. Because then I can switch it over just when the harvest happens. And then it won't be any... Well, maybe a bit of a bit of loss, but it looks like it's much more gracious with the work value thing going on. Much less of a problem if you uh, don't till one day. It's happening. Every one of these is just one, though? Alright. 
It says 313. I think 313 is... Well, 313 is going to be probably a bit low, but I've got a much larger farm plan, so it should be fine. Okay, cool. Perfect. And then refurnish. That size dough. Sands. The water. Okay. Go. Need 105 fruit. Oh no, where would we ever find that amount of fruit? <laughs> We're already on it, man. Satisfying when things like kind of start to happen again. Okay, these have these have dropped off a lot. There's only just like a couple there. It was only like 11 and 9 because it had been so long before we harvested it, I think. All right. Makes me feel a little bit sad. But hey, there's some stone up here that we can do and and stuff. So there it's still not for nothing. We can still have a little town up there for stone and then fruit, grain, mushroom harvesting and also also some wild cotton. It's really not great though. One and two. Not really worth. Speaking of though, still have to get the research first off for fine clothing. And then we can do some tailoring. Masonry would be next. But I think we're just about... Oh, we're at like 5k right now? Yeah. Bring this up to 64 nerds. All right. Next up there would be cut stone so that we can do better stages and stuff. Woodcutter, I did bring down a little. Okay. So, cloth then. May as well be here next to this stuff. Because this is, this is where we're getting it. And then you can just share the warehouse. Refining? Yeah. Yep, just cloth directly in. Six employees exactly. 18 production, 100% efficient. A big loom, a smaller loom. Auxiliary loom, tiny auxiliary loom with a really teeny tiny storage, the smallest I can get, which is actually pretty large, annoyingly, but oh well, with the door being placed as well, so we can quickly get into that. E go. And then while you're on my mind, take out some of the cotton, place in some cloth fabric which can then be put into... There's probably not any space for it. I'd like to try to squeeze it in there, though. Might have to move the warehouse to, like, this other side or something. Uh... Crafting. Tailor. It's a... Adorable. It technically works. <laughs> 4.8 employees, 5 production. It's got a door in the storage. It's got a door out. The workbenches, the auxiliary, and the uh, small storage. It works. <laughs> uh, when it comes time to expand, we'll probably end up moving the pasture storage to over here. And we'll just, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll probably end up just redoing that whole lot of stuff. But I don't think I get enough cotton to really get much. I'm getting like 50 every few days. I, I don't know. Earth's still the one okay. 
Low to 20. Oh, yeah, green is good. How about the wells? Well, number one, we need another well. Doesn't really fit in there, does it? Hmm. It's like a back alley well, this. I don't know about that. But they could use some over here, probably. Or do they just use the fishing lake maybe to clean? Hmm. Let's try here. It fits. So, <laughs> it fits, so we'll try it. How about in the cave as well? I haven't looked in this cave in a while. How are we doing with everything? Is we all good? Can have a well in here. Oh yeah, we can resize the well. Hold on. Yeah, a little tiny well. I kind of like it being in here, though. It's an, it's an alright spot. Just burnt right there in the middle. Fruit's missing. You know, don't, don't store fruit. It's fine. What are you talking about fruit's missing? It's not even in the listing, yo. Alright. Ooh, they're getting through. Nice. It's almost time for ore and everything. Coal mine. Yeah, it's, it's doing what it can. 264 coal. Yeah. It's a very odd shape because I wanted to get the dense bits without having to spend too much material on the uh, efficiency stuff. Because I also don't have that huge of a population that I can just be like, Go, everybody! Get a couple more in there, though. And allow the next lot of people in. Since food is still under control, still gaining and growing. Most of that's going to be the fruit at this point, but I think even with that... I think we're still fine. I'm just going to have a bit of a spoilage problem soon. I got to turn this meat into rations and maybe tell them not to eat rations generally because rations would be spent for the asylum. Slash, I think one day armies. I don't think armies currently use rations. Maybe if you conscript people and you got to feed them, maybe rations work for that. But I think generally down the road, that's a direction that's going where you spend rations to feed these people out in the world map. So, more important later on, but for me, it's mostly just so I don't lose so much to spoilage. Hmm. I'm surprised that the fishing is doing so well, though. I guess with all the efficiency boosts that we've got for fishing, it's really kicking ass. Gonna tell the export depot not to export any Scythalon as well. We'll just hoard it because we like to hoard it generally. I don't think we can stash our Scythalon into houses yet, though we would absolutely love that. Uh, but we just, we sell it for like 80 bucks per, and that's not, <laughs> that's not anywhere near enough for me to really do anything. So I'm just gonna hoard it until we can get a good price for it through trade research, which... Well, at some point, do once it gets some more of the basics done. The brewery's done with one person working it. Hmm. Yeah, coal's being brought in. That's got a full crate. It's fetched over. Good. Pottery, working on that crate. Fruits, being fetched over. Yeah, it should be technically okay. Change the recipe over, so we're good. And then don't auto-employ, we'll say, three? Maybe? I 
Take an odd route sometime. There you go. That looks a bit better. And just punch in wheels. <laughs> Brewing! It's like a Mortal Kombat test your might type thing going on with this. <laughs> You just need some of that, like, arcade cabinet heavy breathing and all that going on. Man, Test Your Might was intense. Find a, find a clip for it, for, like, the Mortal Kombat Test Your Might on the arcade. And just listen to how insane it is. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Definitely would have turned some heads in a crowded area. I'll leave them to that. I'll probably staff it fully, because why not? Yeah, let's do that. Staff it fully, because why not? Then it's done. Housing should be okay, but I can... I can get some more houses. It's like Nerd Row over here. Ugh, disgusting. 